Hello everybody. Today's notebook was, um, was based uh, on uh, a question asked on the quantitative finance site of Stack Exchange by user Lisanne. So, if you're watching this, thanks for the inspiration. And uh, here we are. So, I'll just make the usual import of the library. I'll also define a few functions I don't really need to explain for the comprehension of this notebook. So, we're talking about implied term structures. Let's say we have an interest rate curve. I'll take a very simple one, also a wrong one in some ways, which I'll explain in a second. So, I'll boost up this on a small set of swap rates and with the functions I just defined I can also plot it and here we go okay I have used a piecewise linear zero curve which means piecewise linear zero rate which are not derivable differentiable on the, on the, at the nodes which in turn means we'll have jumps if we plot the forwards like I'm doing here this is not something you can use for real pricing but it's it turns out to be useful here because uh, this jumps uh, mm, can be used as reference reference points to, to see where the curve is, is uh, located in time so this is the current curve is today's curve this also implies a, an interest rate curve in one year one year time what does it mean well for instance in one year time we expect to have a curve whose spot rate is the one year forward rate of this present curve for the implied curve the for instance the one year forward rate corresponds to the two years forward rate on in this curve the one year discount factor for the implied curve is the ratio between the two years and one year discount factors in this curve and so on there is a class in quantlib that can be used to build such a curve it is the implied term structure class so what we do is we set in the future reference date as today plus one year and we build an implied curve by passing the original curve and the reference date we want I can plot this curve as well and here is what I get so it starts one we can see this by plotting both curves we see that uh, this yellow one is the implied curve it starts one year from now and it's it's superimposed perfectly over the the original curve the numbers here are the zero rates for the implied curve at well, spot which corresponds as i said to the one year forward for the the, the original rate and uh, the original curve sorry and then we have zero rates for one, two, three, four, and five years. We start from 25 basis points for spot and we go to 66 for the five years rate. So, what can we do with this curve? The idea of uh, the stack exchange user was uh, to use this curve to forecast a future price for a bond. So, we could uh, set the evaluation date one year in the future and use this curve to press a bond and uh, obtain a forecast uh, of the, the, the future price based on today's expectation for the future rates so first thing we do is change the evaluation date problem is if we just if we check the zero rates again we're going to find out that they have changed so we start from about 20 basis point now and go to 45 which is not what we expected to use for 
our implant curve. What happened? Well, the only thing we did was moving the evolution date. The problem is, when we built the original curve, we didn't specify a, a specific reference date. We just said that the this reference date for the curve would be a number of days, zero days in this case, after the evaluation date. So this curve is moving with the evaluation date. We can see it if we plot it after setting the evolution date. So we set it back to today and we plot the curve again. This is what we get. If we set it to today plus three months and plot the curve again, we see that it has moved. So this jump which was in early, in late 16, now is in early 17. The whole curve moved three months in the future and the same just more happens if we set the evolution date to today plus one year. The whole curve moves forward, now the jump is in late 17. What happened to the implied curve? Well, it's still linked to this curve, but since now this curve has the same reference date, it's based on one year for today, the implied curve is exactly the same. So there's no shifting happening, because as I say, the reference date of the implied curve is already the same as the one of the original curve. We can see this also by comparing the zero rates of the original curve and the implied curve. If I do this, I'm going to get the same numbers for both curves. How do we fix this? Well, the solution is not a, mm, a clean one. We have uh, to, to do a bit of, of, well, it's a bit of a clutch. We have to copy the rates from the original curve, use them to build a curve that stays frozen even when we move the evaluation date and use that curve as the underlying curve for the implied which means we go back to today's date at which point the original curve has moved back as, as uh, we wanted as we had it at the beginning we can extract the booster rate so we see that this is the reference date those are the nodes we set based on the maturity of the swap helpers. These are the zero rates that uh, we're using. Now we are going to use these dates and these rates to create a, a frozen curve, one with, with a fixed reference date, the same rates at the same dates. This line is a bit of Python magic that transposes this this data so that we have one vector of dates and one vector of rates. We use those to build the curve and now we plot it. So you can see it is the same curve that we had before. So here is the jump in late 16 and now we can build the implied curve based on this one instead of the first one. Now we can safely move the evolution date to the future reference one year from now and the frozen curve will stay fixed in place. So no shift in time. At this point the implied curve returns the correct rates. We can plot it, see that it has the expected shape, starts one year from now and has the same forwards as the original one. And the zero rates are those we expected from 25 to 66 basis points. Okay, this is all for this notebook and uh, well, I'll see you next time. Bye.